In the heart of a lush and vibrant forest, where the trees reached high into the sky and the air was filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers, there lived a small brown bear named Boo. Boo was not just any bear. He was known for his kindness, curiosity, and a particular fondness for honey. His fur was soft and thick, a rich shade of brown that blended perfectly with the earthy tones of the forest floor. Boo's days were often filled with adventures, as he loved exploring every nook and cranny of the vast woods that he called home. One bright and crisp morning, as the golden rays of the sun filtered through the leaves and danced on Boo's face, he stirred from his cozy bed of leaves and moss. The first thought that crossed his mind was of the sweet, sticky honey that he loved so much. The craving was so strong that it almost seemed as though he could smell the honey in the air. Without a second thought, Boo decided that today would be the perfect day to embark on a new adventure, one that would lead him to the best honey in the entire forest. Boo stretched his limbs, shaking off the remnants of sleep, and stepped out of his little den. The forest greeted him with a gentle breeze that rustled the leaves and carried the sounds of birds chirping merrily above. The world was awake and alive, and Boo could feel the excitement bubbling up inside him. With a determined grin, he set off on his journey his keen senses guiding him as he sniffed the air, hoping to catch the scent of honey. As Boo wandered deeper into the forest, he marveled at the beauty around him. The trees stood tall and proud, their leaves creating a canopy that filtered the sunlight into a soft, warm glow. The underbrush was a rich tapestry of greens, dotted with colorful wildflowers that swayed gently in the breeze. Boo's paws crunched softly on the fallen leaves as he made his way through the familiar paths, all the while keeping his eyes peeled for any signs of a beehive or a patch of flowers that might lead him to the coveted honey. Time seemed to pass in a pleasant blur as Boo explored the forest, his senses alive with the sights, sounds, and smells of nature. He sniffed at the trunks of trees, hoping to detect the faintest hint of honey and occasionally paused to examine the ground, searching for any clues left by other animals. Yet, despite his best efforts, the sweet aroma of honey remained elusive. But Boo was not one to give up easily. His determination only grew stronger with each passing minute. As he ventured further, Boo found himself in a part of the forest that he had never visited before. The trees here were even taller, their trunks thick and ancient, with roots that twisted and turned like giant serpents. The air was cooler, and the light that filtered through the leaves had a mysterious, almost magical quality to it. Boo could feel the thrill of discovery tingling in his paws. This was uncharted territory, and he had a feeling that something special awaited him here. As Boo continued his exploration, he noticed a small, buzzing sound in the distance. His ears perked up, and his heart skipped a beat. Could it be? He followed the sound, his excitement growing with each step. The buzzing grew louder, and soon Boo found himself standing in front of a large tree with a hollow trunk. The sound was coming from inside the hollow, and Boo's nose twitched as he caught a faint whiff of honey. Curiosity getting the better of him, Boo carefully approached the tree and peered inside the hollow. To his delight, he saw a small bee busily working inside, collecting nectar from the honeycomb that lined the walls of the hollow. The bee was golden in color with delicate wings that shimmered in the dappled sunlight. Boo watched in awe as the bee moved with precision and grace, completely absorbed in its task. After a moment, the bee seemed to notice Boo's presence and paused in its work. Boo, ever the gentle and respectful bear, took a step back, not wanting to disturb the bee. But the bee didn't seem alarmed or frightened by Boo's presence. Instead, it fluttered out of the hollow and hovered in front of Boo, as if sizing him up. Boo stood still, his big brown eyes wide with wonder. He had never been this close to a bee before, and he could sense that this was a special encounter. The bee seemed to understand Boo's fascination and decided to share a secret with him. It buzzed around Boo's head for a moment before darting off into the forest. Boo watched it go, unsure of what to do. But then, the bee returned, hovering in front of him once more before flying off again. This time, Boo understood. The bee wanted him to follow. With a heart full of excitement and curiosity, Boo set off after the bee, eager to see where it would lead him. The bee led Boo through the forest, weaving between trees and over streams, moving with a speed and agility that Boo found impressive. 
but the little bear was determined to keep up, his paws moving swiftly over the forest floor. As they journeyed deeper into the woods, Boo noticed that the air was becoming sweeter and the buzzing of bees was growing louder. It was as if the entire forest was alive with the sound of bees at work. Finally, after what felt like an eternity of running, the bee led Boo to a small clearing bathed in sunlight. In the center of the clearing stood a magnificent tree, its trunk thick and gnarled, with branches that stretched high into the sky. But what caught Boo's attention was the massive beehive that hung from one of the lower branches. The hive was golden and glistening, and Boo could see the bees busily working around it, flying in and out carrying nectar and pollen. Boo's mouth watered at the sight of the hive. This was it, the source of the sweetest honey in the entire forest. He could hardly believe his luck. But just as he was about to approach the hive, the bee that had led him here buzzed in front of him, catching his attention. Boo looked at the bee, wondering what it wanted. The bee then flew towards a patch of flowers growing at the edge of the clearing. The flowers were unlike any Boo had ever seen. They were vibrant and colorful, with petals that shimmered in the sunlight. Boo could see that the bees were particularly fond of these flowers, as many of them were busily collecting nectar from them. The bee that had led Boo here hovered over the flowers for a moment before returning to him. Boo understood immediately. The bee was showing him the source of the nectar that made their honey so sweet. Boo felt a deep sense of gratitude towards the bee. Not only had it led him to the honey, but it had also shown him the beautiful flowers that made the honey so special. Boo decided that he wanted to return the favor. He knew of a secret spot in the forest where the most beautiful and fragrant flowers grew, a place that very few animals knew about. It was a place he had discovered during one of his many explorations, and he had kept it a secret until now. With a nod of understanding, Boo turned and began to walk back into the forest, motioning for the bee to follow him. The bee hesitated for a moment, but then it buzzed happily and followed Boo. The two of them made their way through the forest, Boo leading the way this time. The journey was long, but Boo was determined to share his secret with the bee, just as the bee had shared its secret with him. After a while, they arrived at a secluded grove surrounded by tall trees. In the center of the grove was a field of flowers, more beautiful than anything the bee had ever seen. The flowers were of every color imaginable, and their fragrance filled the air with a sweet and calming scent. The bee buzzed around in delight, moving from flower to flower, collecting nectar and enjoying the beauty of the grove. Boo watched with a satisfied smile as the bee explored the grove. He knew that he had done the right thing by sharing this special place with the bee. It was a moment of pure, simple joy, a reminder of the beauty of nature and the importance of kindness and sharing. The bee, too, seemed to understand the significance of the moment, and it returned to Boo's side, hovering in front of him as if to thank him for his generosity. As the day began to fade and the shadows grew longer, Boo knew it was time to return home. He and the bee made their way back through the forest, the sounds of the evening filling the air around them. Boo felt a deep sense of contentment as he walked, knowing that he had made a new friend and discovered something truly special that day. The forest, with all its mysteries and wonders, had given him yet another unforgettable adventure. When Boo finally returned to his den, the sky was painted with the warm hues of sunset. He settled down in his cozy bed, the sweet scent of honey still lingering in his nose. As he closed his eyes, he thought about the bee and the secret grove of flowers. He knew that tomorrow would bring new adventures, new discoveries, and perhaps even new friends. But for now, Boo was content, his heart full of happiness and his dreams filled with the beauty of the forest. And so, as the stars twinkled in the night sky and the forest settled into a peaceful slumber, Boo drifted off to sleep, his mind filled with thoughts of honey, flowers, and the magical day he had shared with his new friend. The forest, in all its timeless beauty, would be there waiting for him when he woke, ready to offer more mysteries, more joy, and more adventures for the little brown bear with a big heart.